What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today we are back, continuing on the grind for the Foot Fantasy. Hopefully we can pack one of these, hopefully we can pack one of the brand new Road to the Final cards. So, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the content. If you are new, please subscribe because we are, I think, about four subs away from 150. I haven't checked for a while, so... Hopefully we can hit that soon. Um, if we can, that'll be fantastic. Obviously, the goal right now is a thousand subs, but little goals as we go along. But as I said, foot fantasy is obviously well upon us. We've got a few days left of it, so hopefully we can pack either an informed Robertson, informed Son, a few of the man of the match cards. We've got the road to the final cards. We've got foot fantasy cards. There is so much in packs right now. I would like to be able to get something. But as you can see, also um, seven objectives have been completed. I've gone through and completed Lo Celso, and I've gone through and completed um, Simon. Both of these cards are fairly easy to do. We did them in 10 games, so absolutely fine. With that, we get a few small packs, nothing too special with them, but at the same time, it's just nice to obviously have a few smaller packs to fill the club up. Mainly consumables um, from the likes of gold packs and like random sort of like jumbo gold packs, jumbo gold premium packs, stuff like that does obviously help out the club, so... Again, we'll see what happens there. But Lacelso coming in first. He's definitely going to go into the Argentine team. I'm not too sure about the La Liga team. However, if he's to get a few upgrades, hopefully he will. I can see him definitely getting the upgrades for the win in the five games. I can see him getting the upgrades for... I'm actually trying to think of what they get the upgrades for. He's probably not going to score. But, again, that's absolutely fine. So, in terms of what they actually get upgraded for, it is... Does EA have the breakdown? So three appearances in the next five games. I feel like that's likely to happen. One win in the next five games. Again, likely to happen. He's got to get a goal or an assist in the next five games, which again, is there's a possibility to it. Um, but I think obviously that's probably the harder one rather than making the appearances or getting the wins for a lot of these cards. Um, sort of midfielders as well. If you're more of a defensive midfielder, it is going to be a little bit harder to get that assist. So say we were to get like a Fabinho, it's going to be harder. So in terms of what we've got right now, I'm probably going to say maybe that core card that I was able to pack the other week. If he was to get an upgrade on the goals or assist, I'd be quite surprised. Obviously, he's more of a sort of defensive midfielder. But again, we'll see. Someone like Simon should be scoring, should be at least getting an assist. Probably going to make an appearance over three of the five games. Again, Nantes are probably going to be able to get a win as well. So hopefully, we could see like a plus three on him. Taking him into a 91 rated card which obviously would be very nice if he's to go with that high rated. Um, I've got to say, I do like the sort of animation for this. It's a very nice card that they've got. Obviously, once they get the upgrade, going to that sort of reddish colour. Again, not some bad little cards. Definitely cards that are going to go into first donor teams. Fun objective cards. You cannot complain with them. But we've also got five play picks to start off today. Um, I don't really expect anything from them, in all honesty. Anything that we get out of these in terms of duplicate is going to start going into Donny Mallon. We're going to complete the card. He looks good. He's going to get some upgrades on him. So we'll see what happens with that. Because we're using him in the Dutch team and the Bundesliga team with his wants to watch, we may as well just upgrade to a better card. Obviously, may as well use him. So starting off with pick number one, and it's in a camp off. So straight away into the duplicates, it is no surprise. I haven't seen like good picks out of these, in all honesty. A lot of people have been getting 81s, 82s, 83s, and we're just going to get an 89 rated Kimmich. So, do you know what? That is not too bad. That's probably one of the best picks that I've seen so far, and I've watched people open about 50. I've, I know I've watched FG open a load. I know uh, Matt for Traden's open quite a few. There's been all sorts of people opening them on Twitch today, and there's been hardly anything out of these. So, you know, maybe if our luck could turn around, maybe just like a foot fantasy in the final one. I know Kimmich is good, but can it be better? I mean, can't, but an account pass isn't too bad. In terms of duplicates, he is untradeable. So, obviously, in terms of them five picks, an 89, a 483s, it's not bad. We were able to clear the transfer list. We've still got loads left that we can go on. So, probably do another maybe, like, five later to finish off today's video. See if we get anything good. If not, we can obviously go and do, I don't know, maybe a 100k pack, something like that. But we've got plenty of small packs to open. We've also got a, is it a 25k pack for level 18? Yeah, it is. So... Again, 25k pack to add into the club, which isn't too bad. Again, consumables out of that, shadows, hunters, stuff like that will obviously help us out. But as I said, um, we need to deal with some duplicates, so easy enough for the Dortmund team. 
all that we need to do is take out Carlos Vea and we can go and chuck in it wasn't Malin actually it was a Campos there we go so he can go in we just need to get one chemistry out of somewhere so where are we going to get that chemistry point I know we can just go and throw Isaac up here I know I've got an 82 rated Isaac in the club He'll get us the chemistry that we need. And there we go. 82 rated, 71 chemistry. I mean, this team is fairly easy to do. We're using, yes, a tradable in form, but he's 78 rated and he is, well, pretty much discard. So there is absolutely no point in doing anything else. We've got all 82s. And actually looking at it, because of the 83, we're able to get away with the 78 rated. So it's absolutely fine. Um, I've got no issue using this team. Obviously, Omo was one of the players that we were using for getting Simon and... The cells are done, so it's fine. So, we've got an 86 rated team to go on that. We have got an 85 rated team on Antonio, he goes at 6 pm. Um, I'm tempted to do him just because he's a fun card, but again, I don't really need him, so I'm kind of half hesitant not to do him. Perisic looking pretty good as well. I kind of want to do that card. Um, the fact that he's only, I think, an 82, 84, and 85 rated team looks pretty decent compared him to Perisic in terms of just like card value stats. They're very similar. If Perisic is to get an upgrade, he probably would be better than Nkunku. Um, so I, I might do Perisic just for the fact that if we do need so obviously some sort of duplicates to deal with, then we can obviously use that. If not, then again, it's not an issue. We can just obviously discard stuff. We've got player picks now that we can use. I don't really want to do these player picks. They don't seem amazing. But if we can change, say, two 81 rated into something, that would be nice. We are going to go and pack to Stegen here, which is not too bad. Out of, I don't actually know what pack this is, a 90 rated card is not too bad. It is literally out of a 7.5k pack, which is perfect. However, he is untradeable. And what it will mean is Malin is getting completed now. Um, so I'm going to go and build that team for Malin um, using the Stegen, and I'll be right back. All right, then. So this is the team we're going to use to complete Malin. Um, obviously, Stegen going in, using a few high rated cards. Using a few special cards that we don't need anymore. Cruz, Malinowski, um, we obviously got his player of the month card, so we don't need his man of the match. Again, gold cards that we can get rid of to get the chemistry up and stuff like that, so that's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, primary action pack back, it's not too bad. More importantly, we are obviously getting a usable card into the club. He might even make an appearance onto the bench now. Um, the chance of using this card in the main team is slim, but... The chance of him getting an upgrade again i can see him definitely getting hold of i don't know maybe an upgrade um on the goals i can see him starting at least three of the sort of five games or at least making an appearance and then in terms of actually going forward and possibly getting the win i can see dormant absolutely doing that so we'll see what happens there and um, i feel like this mic's slightly cutting out though so don't really know what's happening here if there was a drop in the mic uh, i do apologize it was flashing green Hopefully we should be all good. Hopefully we should be here, but it doesn't look like it dropped out anyway. Um, but yeah, Malin's in the club. Not bad. Again, looking a nice little card with some upgrades. He's going to be absolutely fantastic. So we'll see what happens there. Obviously, to Stegen as well, going back into the club. So we're at a point now of we have Antonio, Perisic, and Kunku, and Bappe, and then two icons. And that's it. That's all that we have left to grind. So if we were to grind an icon, I'd probably do Socrates just because he looks good um, he would be fun Ashley Cole is quite cheap to do though and I'm thinking because of the amount of red picks that we have it would be easy to do um, especially obviously just chucking two of them into these teams they'd be very easy to do the bronze and silver so in a sense we could have four teams done very very easily an 85 an 86 and an 87 isn't that hard to work towards and I'd be half tempted again the packs aren't awful and so because of that, he could be one that we could have a bit of fun with. He does look a good card. So maybe if we need to grind something, we could work towards him. Um, or it's going to be Perisic. I'm not too sure on which one. I think Ashley Cole is more longevity in the team. He looks better for the team. He makes, obviously, linking plays a little bit easier. Is he better than Teo Hernandez? Possibly. Possibly not. I think I'll have to compare the stats in terms of Perisic. Is he a player that gets into the starting 11? No. But he's a player that gets into the Serie A team. He is a player that definitely could be very, very good off the bench. So might be a case that we do Perisic now because he's available. And then in a week's time when we're starting to deal with duplicates yet again, 
we just go and do Ashley Cole because he's there. And so I think having an icon there for 90 days is actually quite clever for me. It's one thing that I do actually think they've done pretty well there. Um, the fact that they can make use of an icon for so long, again, it's not a bad icon to have hold of. So I'd have no issue putting Ashley Cole into the club. I'd have no issue using him. I think he would be a fairly decent icon to use. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, again, if we can get him, perfect. I'm not bothered if we don't get him. I think if I'm going to do him, I'll commit to him. I'll make sure to get him done and then obviously work on other things. But say we were to get, I don't know, like this Marlon SPC and go, oh, it's fairly cheap. He gets into my team. I could focus on doing that for a week and know that in two months time, I still can obviously do Ashley Cole, which would be good. Again, the fact that the icon's there for like three months says a lot about what EA's got planned with the game. Hopefully we can see more Prime Icon moments coming into SPCs now. I'd be very shocked if we see anything less than Icon moments SPCs because of the fact that EA will start putting them in. Um, maybe sort of like Prime... I don't know, like a Pukas or something like that. Um, again, he'd be pretty good, but they're probably not going to put his prime moments in, so they could probably just end up doing his prime guard. We'll see. It's EA. They'll probably release like a baby Pele SBC, because why not? they go, oh yeah, you can have Pele, but he's just going to be a baby card, and he's about 4 billion coins. But yeah, again, it's EA with the typical company, and we can't expect anything less of them. So hopefully... After I've just gone in, slagged them off a little bit, we can get something good off them. And do you know what? A discard in form is absolutely perfect. We've already used one today. There's a possibility that we could use him in an MLS team if we needed to, although I don't think we'll have to, which is nice. So keep an hold of him in case we get maybe like the 84 plus picks at the end of the week. And um, there's a good possibility that we could get them. So if we do, he'll definitely be using that. If not, again, we can just add them to the club. Another set of boards coming in is going to be Mendy. I do know that we have him in the club. And the issue with having him in the club is he could be a duplicate along with these other cards. So, he's an untradeable duplicate. However, I think we just go and do an SPC with him. In all honesty, we may as well. So, I'm going to go and pre-build an SPC. I'm also going to probably go and do the icon swaps for Liga Nos. And we'll be right back with 6pm content and hopefully something good for, what, a Tuesday? So we'll see what EA releases. All right, then, guys. So hopping into 6pm content. Um, didn't get the icon swaps done. I just went to bed because it was late and I've had a long few days. But we've got a few days ahead of us to grind the game out. If you saw me tweet earlier, I've got two days off. So there's plenty that we can get involved in there. So in terms of hopping into 6pm content for today, I don't really expect too much in terms of objectives. Milestones, probably nothing new there. Yep, absolutely. No real shock to the system. It's probably going to be mainly in SBCs. Um, and in terms of what we've got today, we have... Oh, actually, we did get this. Um, Ozzyman, Player of the Month card. It is dead cheap to do. 82 rated, Team of the Week, and Napoli player. This is easy to do. So we'll make sure to get him done. He's probably going to be SBC fodder, but 95 pace, 90 shooting, 85 dribbling, 80 physicals on him. Some nice stats. I think he could be all right to use for a bit of a fun team. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with him. He's there for 30 days. For an 82 80 team, he'll be done in two days. Goal assets, we might get that done at some point. We've also got, ooh, the campaign bag player pick is back. Two of these available to us. So make sure to, that, to do them at some point as well. Two team of the weeks, 84 80 team. This is dead easy to do. So you can get a player from either and one of two. Wants to watch, Adidas numbers up, road to the final, headliners, or fantasy foot team two players. So no team one, it is just team two. Headliners, road to the final, numbers up, and wants to watch. So we'll see what we get with them. Again, hopefully good. If not, it's just going to be somewhere to put off fodder for now. So what I am going to do is, um, for the time being, we do have that duplicate Mendy to deal with. We are going to get rid of this team. It is going to go into Ashley Cole. We're going to start him. We'll probably get him done over the 90-odd days, so... I'm absolutely fine doing it. We're going to get rid of Mason Mount. We've got loads of Chelsea players, but that's absolutely fine. Main one being Mendy. We get a premium mixed players pack back. So, again, nothing special, but it's not too bad for what we're getting rid of. So, we'll go and send Mendy back into the club. Obviously, duplicates will go into 81 plus picks now, or they'll end up going into all of those new SPCs that we got today. So, I'm absolutely fine doing any of that. Um, in terms of what we'll do now, we'll go and open one or two packs, hopefully finish off on a walkout or hopefully a foot fantasy card. I'd like to obviously get one or two more of these cards. Whether we do, 
who knows? We'll see. But two duplicates up there. We've got like 70, 75 players, 65 players on the transfer list. We'll probably be up to about 75, 80 players at some point. So we'll probably do a few more player picks, get them done. Obviously, use them duplicates then into player SPCs. It's the best way around to deal with duplicates. So I have no problem doing that. But we've got an untradeable one there. So we'll discard him for now. So we'll go and open one more pack and then we'll go and finish on 100k pack because we may as well. So. Actually, we've got a few small packs left and 75 pluses, so we'll open them in tomorrow's video. As I said, to finish off, 100k pack. Um, actually, we've not done our preview pack for a while, so we should probably actually do these, although the game has frozen for some reason. Come on, EA. There we go. Um, right, so what have we got? Lightning rounds, 85 plus star players. You do have the chance of 14% of a team of the week player or... The Foot Fantasy is 9.8%. Not the best, actually. Less than 1% to pack one of the Road to the Final cards, which is ridiculous. But that will be it with EA. So, we're not going to do a preview pack. We're just going to hop into this 100k pack. Hopefully, we're finishing off on something big. Maybe even like a Prime Icon Moments would be nice. But, we don't, we don't even have a walkout. That's ridiculous. We're going to get an 85 rated Deluxe. That's good. But it's not good enough. In terms of behind him, absolutely nothing else. So, we're going to put all these duplicates up there. And we're going to open another pack. Because I am not finishing on nothing. A Delict is nowhere near good enough. Yes, he's good fodder for us. But not out of a 100k pack. Which is probably from champs. So, again. We're going to finish again. On 100k pack. Can this one be a little bit better EA? Please say yes. Because we need something good. It is going to be... Boards, yet again. This time it's going to be Dries Mertens. We are finishing on this because this is nowhere near good enough. And in behind, we've got an Inform, so we'll definitely be using him. We've got plenty of duplicates to use for plenty of the SBCs that we've got available right now. But for now, that is where we're going to leave it, guys. I'm out. Peace.